Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing my version of a gingerbread village. And I hope you stay tuned to the end because I add some extra special elements to personalize this village that turn out so stinking cute. Are y'all ready to create something fun? Let's get started. On this channel, I love sharing easy DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. This video is part of an open playlist hosted by Sarah from GGB DIY and Jackie from Crafting in a Mimi's World. Their links in the playlist link will be in the description box below. And there's going to be lots of gingerbread inspo, so I hope you check it out. I used these house shapes to create the village, and I got almost all of them from the Dollar Tree. They're actually birdhouses that I just turned around. And some of the house shapes I made out of some scrap wood. But I also found some similar houses at Target. Now, I didn't use these exact ones, but I did get something very similar. And I used three pallets from Dollar Tree and I glued them end to end as my base. And I didn't want it to be too wide or too long. And I think this ended up being a really good length. And here are the houses that I got from the Target Dollar Spot. It was like a little kit with the paint and the, you know, eh, brush. And I started out with six smaller houses and four larger, like thinner ones. I changed it up as I create it, but you'll kind of see how it turns out. And I was trying to think of what is the perfect color for gingerbread. And of course I Googled it and some colors that popped up were cinnamon, uh, caramel, golden brown, raw sienna. And I've seen people use nutmeg, lots of different options. So I made a quick swatch of them all and I used the color that came with the kit from Target and the paint that I had on, already had on hand. And in the end, I decided to use all the colors to give this project some variety. Now, two of the house shapes were made from scrap fencing wood from when we did our fence, and I kept all of the scrap because you never know when you can use it for a DIY. I sanded the wood smooth, but I knew it would soak up a lot of paint, so I gave it a base coat of white. And I'm gonna show you some snippets of all the colors. I meant to write down what they all were, but anyway, I ended up using four colors for the houses and I painted one larger house and a smaller house the same color. And you'll see how I arranged them, but here's color number one and number two and number three and number four. Originally, I was gonna glue the taller houses to the back of the base and then I decided to take two paint sticks and use them as braces on the back. And I cut the paint sticks down off at the top and I glue them to the back of the base and then I glue all of the houses to the top of the base. And I used wood glue to adhere the sticks and I just used all the paint containers that you see there to hold the paint sticks to the base as they dry. And then I googled gingerbread houses and I used these images as inspo to create the designs on each of the houses. And I just used my dry paint pens. I really need to invest in some new ones. But anyway, what would have been cool is for me to use puff paint to mimic the real frost, like if I used real frosting. And I would have done that, but actually, and I have some puff paint on hand, but that stuff is pricey. You can usually find it like in the wearable arts area in the craft store. And it's like, I think $2.99. And so another thing I thought of, of course, after I had already started with the paint pens was to take some spackle or maybe some joint compound, thin it out and make the designs. And that would have given me a lot more texture, obviously, and would have given me more dimension. And Dollar Tree carries cake decorating bags and the tips, but I'm wondering if that would have been like too thick for this project. Anyways, it was a thought. I painted all the rooftops of the smaller houses and the fronts of the houses to create the little village. And on the taller houses, I painted the um, roof. And I started to paint the base, but I thought I better mark where the houses were. So when I went back to use the wood glue, it would adhere better to the wood. So I marked up all of the areas. So I had a general idea. And I used two green colors and a brown color to create the ground, you know, like grass and dirt. And I didn't add too much because I was gonna add snow. And I used wood glue to glue each of the houses down. And that's why I made sure to leave some areas of raw wood so that the glue would adhere better. Next, I started working on where I was gonna place the trees. And I had some bottle brush trees and then I found this little gingerbread kit from Dollar Tree. And I was gonna use those trees as well. So I cut them down to the size that I needed. And to paint the trees, I started off with a darker green color and I didn't paint the whole tree because I wanted this to have some dimension to it. So then I went in with a lighter green and then I put that on tops of the branches because I thought, well, if the sun's shining down, that's where it would be lighter. And then I did the same with the third lightest color. 
and for each of the green colors I tried to let the other colors peek through so it looked like different branches in there and to add the snow I just took some white paint and tried to lightly add it to the tops of each branches and I found this little chippy brush at Dollar Tree and I dipped it into the same white paint and I just dry brushed it onto the base and bottoms of the houses to make it look like it was snow covered <laughs> and this is also where the spackle or joint compound idea might have worked better too but I didn't think of that until after I'd done this so anyway I just continued to just dry brush and I also did the tops of the houses I hot glue down the trees and that white bottle brush trees are from Dollar Tree and well actually so are the little ones and the flat trees that I painted are from that gingerbread kit that I also got from Dollar Tree. So this is pretty much a Dollar Tree DIY. And you can find little gingerbread people at Hobby Lobby and Hobby Lobby has all of their Christmas on sale right now, 60% off. So this would make that about two bucks. But I found these little gingerbread wood shapes at gingerbread wood shapes at Dollar Tree and they were 14 pieces for $1.25. And I decided to use that brown color that came with the kit that I got from Target. And I felt like it was a thinner paint, but I like the color, so. And now I don't know if you can guess by the colors what I'm using, you know, that I'm using what I'm trying to create. And if you know me personally, you might already be able to guess, but I'm painting the top with a light blue and the shorts with a darker blue, white socks and black shoes. So any guesses? I think you can kind of tell. Anyway, this little piece is the top part of a craft stick that I cut off and I'm painting it with the same darker shade of blue. And are you, are you kind of getting a hint of what I'm doing? Um, I'm adding some details to the blue shape and it needed some more definition and a little logo on the side. And I'm just painting this little thing and you're gonna kind of see what it is in just a second. Any guesses? It's a mailman. So if you didn't notice, one of the gingerbread houses was a post office and my husband was a mailman for a little over 29 years. And so I just thought it would be kind of cute to have a letter carrier in my little gingerbread village. So I made his little uniform and I just used some jute twine for his mailbag strap and making a little mailbox, putting the mailbox by one of the houses. And that blue thing was the collection box and I put that on the other side closer to the post office and I'm just gluing a little kickstand on the back of my little mailman and then I'm oh well there's Kevin <laughs> and then I'm just gonna glue him to the side of the house about to deliver a letter and this is the final reveal this is how it all turned out now I will say that putting the designs onto the houses was a little harder than I thought it was gonna be you know of course my paint pens were a little bit on the dry side but the the designs and stuff it you know I thought if I used puff paint or that spackle or the joint compound I I don't even know might have been a little bit more harder to do but I love how it turned out I think it turned out super cute it's very budget friendly everything that I got was from Dollar Tree except that one uh, those couple houses those were from Target everything else was Dollar Tree so um, very budget friendly and I just love how the collection box and the mailbox and especially the little mailman turned out so I hope you enjoyed it too. Thank y'all so so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate the company while I craft and create. If you enjoyed today's video I would appreciate if you would give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'm going to leave a video here that I think you might enjoy and don't forget if you want to follow me on social media like TikTok, Instagram, or here on YouTube, my handle is Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye!